you guys. It is a big, big day in the garment sewing world. We now have the big five. Uh, Mimi G has just launched a whole new brand of sewing patterns underneath the umbrella that also includes Simplicity, McCall's, Vogue, New Look, uh, Butterick, all of them. This is Nomi Patterns and the idea behind this is that each of these patterns are designed by one of these people here and these people are not necessarily like Mimi G where they are a licensee and they are going to be you know fully developing full collections for what is now the big five um, they are at home makers and creators just like you and me and have been invited to design a pattern for no me um i i have questions i don't know a ton about how this is going to work going forward so i thought we would take a look at what they are showing us here um and you know kind of see what we think of this concept um as you may or may not know, Mimi G, gosh, I don't, I feel like it's been forever, but the, the timeline with the pandemic and everything, I have no concept of time, but she is, she recently, she got a job as the vice president of something or another patterns and something. I don't, I don't know the full title. It feels very long. Um, but in that role, she has been spearheading and championing the home garment sewist, kind of being our voice at a company that is very big, like the, the umbrella, the big, big company that owns the big four or big five now is a big company. And this sewing pattern um, grouping or subsect of that is fairly small for them. So I feel like a lot of what we say um, and our wish list and all that kind of gets drowned out because they're just like, you know, the small little, <laughs> small, but maybe, maybe noisy little group in the corner that's like, please give us attention. So they hired Mimi to come on and help with diversity. Um, and then also size inclusion. And then one of the, which as you probably have noticed in all of the big four collections prior to even this launch, there has been a lot more attention placed on that. There's still a long way to go, and I think even she would admit that, but we've certainly made um, huge headway in the short amount of time that she has been in that role. Um, some other things that she has done is the backs of the envelope. Now you know how they have the um, finished garment sizing that's actually relevant now. That was something that she really fought for. Um, but if you've worked in a big company before, you know how difficult it is to make any changes, especially when you're just like the little guy. Um, so it's taking a while, but we're starting to see things happen. Um, those three that I just mentioned, and now this brand new pattern collection. So like I said, all of these people here are faces and names that you might recognize from social media, from YouTube, from blogs. Um, from other places on the internet. And what I think is sort of so unique, I mean, look, th four guys, four guy designers. How cool is that? She has a video. Okay, hold on. Let me play the video for you. It's only a minute. Um, it was hidden here in this get to know section. Okay, so here's her little introducing know me patterns video. Hi guys, Mimi G here. For those of you who don't know me, I am the founder of Mimi G Style Inc., SewItAcademy.com, and PatternMaking.com. And as of last year, I became the Vice President of Design Patterns and Brand Management for what we affectionately call the Big Four. I, I had to pause. I told you that job title is very long. She just said it, and I've already forgotten what she said. <laughs> but that, But that's the role that she took. I've always wanted to give makers in our community the same opportunities that I have had as a licensee for Simplicity, and now I can. I am turning the big four into the big five. I've created an entirely new brand called Nomi Patterns that will be designed solely by makers in our community, because who better to design for us than us? 
Over the next several weeks, I'm going to be talking a lot more about Nomi, what my plans are, what my vision is, and introducing the amazing first set of licensees that I have signed on to the brand. I am so thrilled and excited to share this with all of you, and I hope that you are just as excited as we are. Okay, cute, right? Um, so a couple things to note there is she references is she references our community. And I don't know if by that she is generically speaking about the home sewing, garment sewing community, or if she's specifically speaking about people of color, because everybody here is a person of color. And so I don't know for sure if they are only going to be highlighting makers in the POC community. I, I don't know that yet. But she also said that this first group of, of designers, so it makes me think that in future collections, like these are the makers of the fall 2022 collection, how long are they going to stick around for? Are they going to be a part, they, like a year, like fall, winter, spring, summer? They literally only going to do one pattern and then that's it. They get swapped out. I, I got a I got a feeling that's not the case, right? I mean, they got to keep them around for a little while longer. Um, but also on this page, they also have little bios from everybody along with their Instagram handles. Yeah, I think it's Instagram for everybody. So you can follow them all on Instagram. Yeah. And then, okay, and so each of their patterns are listed here as well. So it looks like Norris has two, um, Nikki has one, Julian has one, you know, so on and so forth. What I think is really cool about this, each of these designers, I'm assuming, has designed a pattern that speaks to their personal style and their lifestyle and something that they would probably normally wear in their regular lives, right? So I've talked a lot about the branding in the past of, you know, the big four, um, McCall's being sort of youthful and young and Vogue being the more mature, like maybe ritzy, glitzy lady. Um, and you know how each brand has its own like intended customer. I feel like with No Me, it's going to be a little bit all over the place. Like, you may think to yourself, oh my gosh, I absolutely love Butterick patterns. Every time they release a collection, I love so many of them. I'm a Butterick girl. But And then you go to watch a, a, a Vogue, or go look at a Vogue collection, and you think, oh my god, I hate all of these. I'm definitely not the Vogue person. But when you come to know me, you're going to see a lot of differences in these designs. Um, they're not going to all be speaking to the same type of person other than we all like to sew at home, and that's it. I mean, you can even tell just from looking at these first eight, we've got a very youthful look here from Alyssa. Uh, Mimi has definitely, not Mimi, but Brittany J. Jones has definitely got the sort of like, I'm the cool mom. <laughs> um, we've also got um, the corny rainbow here in something very bright and colorful and a print, you know, that's what I mean. So I just feel like each one of these for better or worse, is probably going to be something you love or hate. Um, but the collection as a whole, I think somebody, everybody will find something that they like. You just may not like all of it like you would if you are the Butterick girl, for example. Does that all make sense? So I think that that is really cool and that is really interesting approach. Um, I mean, nobody's thinking like this. Every designer designs with one customer in mind um so the fact that there is a even the indies you know what i mean so the fact that there is a brand now that is representative of so many different ages lifestyles places in life jobs you know what i mean like it's just going to be very very representative of all kinds of different walks of life which i think is really cool so that is all I have on Nomi patterns right now. I'm going to do a first impression Friday um, and put that up ASAP so that we can take a look at all of these patterns together. But I just wanted to kind of separate these two things, um, kind of give this <laughs> the attention that I really feel like it deserves. I mean, a whole new brand from Simplicity. I don't know when the last time they did that was. 
Um, and this company has been around for a hundred years or more. So it's a big deal. It's a really big deal to have a big five and to have something that is so um, just thoughtful about the home sewist. Invest in them and they will invest in us again. You know what I mean? That's the kind of sentiment that I'm getting from this. And I think it's really cool. But let me know what you guys think just of the idea of a big five now. Um, the idea of, you know, the home sewist being the designer. Um, the idea of possibly swapping out these people. I don't know, however often they decide to do it. Um, let me know your thoughts about all of it in the comments and we can commiserate and celebrate together. Um, but that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.